What's going on everybody, it's Kim Unboxing Reviews here and welcome back to another LEGO DC Super Villains video. So in today's video I'm of course going to be showing you guys how to make Michael Keaton's version of Batman from the 1989 movie using the in-game customizer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so to start off with, we're of course going to head into Appearance, Head, Preset Head this time, and you're going to scroll down until you find Condiment King's Head. Now, straight away, you're probably wondering, why have I chosen this head out of all the others? Well, personally, I find that when you put a cowl underneath this head, it actually looks a lot like how Michael Keaton's face looks underneath the Batman cowl in the movies. Anyway, for the colour, we're of course going to go with black. And then once you've done that, you're going to back out of there, go into Helmets, and you're going to scroll down until you find the Batman, the animated series cowl. But obviously, you will need the Batman, the animated series level pack if you want to be able to make my very own custom version of 1989 Batman in this game and for the color we're gonna go with black now then moving on we're gonna go to body preset body and you're gonna scroll all the way to the top until you find you guessed it the Batman the animated series body and yet again we're gonna go with black now the rest of the design is very simple because all you need to do now is go to arms blank make sure that they are black like this for the hands you're just gonna go ahead and make them black as well you're also gonna do the same for the hips for the legs you're going to do that as well and then finally you want to go ahead and choose a cape and the cape that we're going to go with is the first one so for the second color we're going to go with black and the first color needs to be black as well nice now then on to the effects so we don't need a left hand glow or a right hand glow and we're going to leave hit impact effects. Usually I would say to make these black, but since we're going to be giving Batman the Batarang ability later, if you actually have hit impact effects activated, it actually gives off this very weird effect when the Batarang hits objects and you do not want that. So just make sure that you have hit impact effects off, but it doesn't affect jump slam effects. So we're going to turn that on, make sure that you go style one and then for the color, we're going to go with black because as you can see here, it leaves less of an effect as possible. And it's just more realistic, which is really cool. Now then, on to the abilities. So we're literally only going to be giving Batman two abilities. So we don't need to add any abilities to the tag button, but for the jump button, we're going to go to double tap X, glide, turn that on, and you're going to go with glide style three, which is this one right here, which looks really, really cool. Now then, we don't need to add a hyper jump ability, and we also don't need anything on tap square, but on hold square, you're going to scroll down to boomerang, turn that on, make sure that you go with boomerang style one, which is of course a batarang, and then for the color, we're going to go with black. Nice. Now then, on to the skills. So obviously this is Batman we're talking about so he definitely needs a grapple gun so we're going to turn that on and make sure that the color is black. Now then for the rope type if you've actually seen the 1989 movie or even Batman Returns basically the rope type is white and very thin so I would say the best one here is probably this one right here and then for the color you're of course going to go with white which looks really really cool. Nice. Now then for the rest of the abilities I would say go with technology, acrobat, wall climbing. We don't need super strength or smash walls. I don't don't think we need anything here but tracking will turn that on I would say probably go with blue I think that looks pretty cool we don't need graffiti we don't need illumination we don't need hazard protection and I think we'll top it off by adding stealth nice now then on to the personality so for the health icon you definitely want to go with black for the health type we're going to go with standard health for the voice just choose any male voice for the speed go with normal for the target reticle you're obviously going to go with Batman and then for the animation set we're of course going to go with martial artist which looks really 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 cool all right so we've done the appearance the effects the abilities the personality we don't need any weapons so now what we need to do is fill in the basic information so for the status we'll put hero for the affiliation we'll put unknown and then for the name we're of course gonna put you guessed it batman Nice. All right, cool. So now, of course, what we're going to do is drop Batman into the hub world and see just what he can do. And here he is. This is, of course, my custom-made 1989 Batman made in LEGO DC Supervillains. Let's just get a good look at him right here. Now, obviously, this is a really easy custom character design to make in this game. But, I mean, come on. I just had to showcase him to you guys already because I'm extremely happy with just how movie accurate he actually turned out. I mean, the only thing that I would say is probably not movie accurate about my design at least is the white eyes but if that bothers you too much you could always just say that this is the Will Arnett version of the character from the Lego Batman movie as of course that design is already heavily inspired by Michael Keaton's costume from the 1989 movie anyway enough chit chat what can my version of Batman actually do well of course he can double jump and glide which I'll showcase in a little bit he's also got melee combat with the use of the martial arts animation set which I absolutely love look at that very very cool indeed we can also perform a jump attack 
backpack which destroys multiple objects and enemies in the vicinity including this forklift which funny enough continues to respawn despite how many times you destroy it which yes is very very weird indeed I'm not sure why that happens now if I come over here I can demonstrate the batarang ability I believe you can target up to five objects with this thing so one two three four five there we go watch as it destroys everything in sight and eventually comes back to us nice and finally we have detective mode anyway what we're gonna do now is of course glide on into Gotham City as 1989 Batman and fight the police because obviously this is Lego DC supervillains so we're not gonna be stopping the crimes we're gonna be the ones starting them so let me just hop over here and start gliding and in case you're wondering basically with the characters that can glide in the main game they have what I would call a simplified version of the Arkham style glider mechanics which is extremely fun to use because you can go up and down and there's momentum to it it's really really interesting however with the custom characters basically what they do is I would say they have more or less what gliding used to be like in the Lego video games so you just hold down X and then you push forward but hey the fact that you can still add that to your custom character is extremely cool especially when they turn out looking this good I mean it really does feel like I am gliding around Gotham City as Michael Keaton's version or as Batman and for a massive fan of that take on the character like myself it is just so cool to finally be able to do that in this game because believe it or not but I've actually been wanting to make Michael Keaton's version of Batman in this game pretty much ever since it was released I mean yes you know from day one you could have went ahead and chose the cow with the short ears you know then you went ahead and gave him a custom body gave him a symbol and it's the classic one that you see on his chest right here and then you give him a yellow belt but the thing is if you did that you wouldn't have any muscle detail and for me personally I always find that muscle detail is crucial in a Lego decal because if it's not there to me it just looks bland and boring and I think with this design especially you know with this body and the cowl with the long ears it just turned out looking absolutely perfect I also really like the face I went with as well because I just think that looks a lot like how Michael Keaton's face actually looks underneath that big mask but yeah I think it looks really really cool and the great thing I think about the Batman the animated series pack is this is just one of many Batman designs that I've been able to make since that pack has come out and if you guys would like to see them let me know in the comment section below because I really want to showcase them to you guys and if you have a certain Batman version like costume or alternate version of the character or anything like that that I might be able to make that I haven't thought of yet let me know that too because I would love to see if I can pull it off because ever since this pack has come out, one of the most fun things to do in this game is just look up different Batman costumes and see if you can make them. Because, you know, there are definitely some designs that do have the short ears, and you can still make them, but there's more long ear designs, I would say, and it's so much cooler when you can have that. I personally prefer the long ears in terms of the Lego design. I just think it looks better. But, uh, yeah, I do like short and long ears for Batman. I think both work just as well. Like Ben Affleck's costume, I think the short ears look cool on that. But uh, here, you know, with the Michael Keaton one with the long ears, I just think that's perfect. So I don't think you could do that design without the long ears. All right, so obviously we're fighting the SWAT here. This is so cool. I love this costume so much. I, I've spent hours f gliding around Gotham City in, what was it, Arkham Knight? Yeah, Arkham Knight with uh, the Burton Batmobile and uh, the Burton suit. Just running around with that suit in that game is so much fun. So to be able to do it in this game is just awesome. Really, really cool. It'd be great if we get another, you know, LEGO DC game someday, and I'm sure we will, but one thing I would love to see from that is a DC movies pack. Well, not, not a DC movies pack, a Batman movies pack, where it comes with all of the Batman costumes that he's worn, from everything from uh, Michael, Ke well, not Michael Keaton, Adam West, all the way to uh, the next Batman. So Adam West, Michael Keaton, um, you know, Christian Bale, Ben Affleck, even even George Clooney and all them, and uh, if, if maybe if they want to add them. That would be pretty funny to have all of those different designs. Not the best take on Batman, but I mean, it would be cool to have their costumes just because they're, uh, they're so iconic, I guess, and not in the right ways, unfortunately. <laughs> no, but I do like Michael Keaton's. I think Michael Keaton, Christian Bale, and Ben Affleck, I think they're all great, definitely. And Adam West, you know, he's hilarious he's, he's just iconic as that take on the Batman actually I would say that uh, Adam West's content in uh, Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham the uh, the whole 60s Batman stuff that was my favorite thing about that game I want a whole Batman game devoted to the 60s um, Batman and Robin TV series that would be incredible like that was just such fun level 
it, they you could tell they put so much effort into that and then you know getting to players like the 60s Riddler and Penguin and things like that so cool I'll definitely have to see if I can maybe make uh, Adam West's version of Batman I'm not sure if he'd turn out looking perfect but um, he might look, I would say he would probably turn out looking similar to the way that they designed the actual minifigure for Lego Batman, not Lego Batman, sorry, for the official 60s set, you know, of the Bat Batcave. I think it would look more like that rather than the way that TT Games designed them in Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham, because I think that design is way better than the Lego set. Don't get me wrong, that's still cool, but TT Games absolutely nailed that design. Same goes for Robin as well, but I think that's quite similar to the LEGO set, definitely. Now before I wrap up this video, I couldn't leave you guys without actually showcasing the Batmobile with my custom character version of Batman in this game. But before we do that, just look at the actual Batcave here. The symbols and everything around the place are really a lot more similar to the one that is actually on my custom character design. So I would say that this version of Batman that I've made, you know, that is inspired by Michael Keaton's, better if it's the Batcave and the Batmobile than the one that is in the main game, which makes a lot of sense when you think about it though, because I believe that Batman is actually more based on either DC Rebirth or the new 52 costume. But here it is, this is the vehicle, it looks extremely cool, again it's got the symbol and everything there which is really nice, and it's definitely already got a Burton-esque design to it. Obviously it's not that exact take on the Batmobile, because it does have its own little bit of detail here and there that makes it unique. Anyway, let's hop in this vehicle already and actually showcase what it can do, so we'll drive on out of the Batmobile and check this out the doors actually open and everything it is just so cool I absolutely love this game it's awesome it really does give you everything you want. You can go around Gotham City, you can go inside the Batcave, it is great. And then obviously, you know, there's Metropolis and Smallville and things like that. Anyway, I would say that this is probably one of my favorite vehicles in the entire game. It just looks really cool, it's got great handling, it can shoot missiles and everything, which, you know, aren't very strong, they don't really pack a punch, but the fact that you can still shoot missiles is really nice. But if we drive on around here, you can see, look at the, the way the handling works, it's really good. I think it's a really easy to handle vehicle definitely, but if we come on down here I can showcase a few other things that it can do. Not the best place to demonstrate it right here. There we go, so you see you've got this bit right here, we can jump, which I believe all the vehicles in the game can do. I have no idea why they have that ability, but the fact that they do is just awesome. Being able to actually, wow, that was bad. <laughs> Being able to actually drive around and jump with vehicles in this game is a lot of fun, so I'm glad that feature's in the game. But hands down, the coolest feature about the Batmobile in this game is if we come on over here, because we want to get to a high spot, because it's just so cool when you do. And we boost past here. Whoa, watch it, officer. There we go. Yeah, this is awesome. So if we boost all the way up here, get up this road here. Come on, Batman, you got this. It's even better when you use this um, vehicle with a Batman from the main game or a DLC, so you know, the Batman from the main game or Batman the Animated Series or even the Ben Affleck one, but this still is really cool when you do it with a custom character, definitely. But what we're going to do here is if you, basically we're going to boost first because it just looks cooler. Boost and then hold L1, check this out. Look at that! Oh, that was awesome! That's the coolest one I've done so far. So we actually dived out of the Batmobile, flew into the air, and then you could start gliding, and I just absolutely love that. Like I said, it's even better with a default Batman, because you can glide with the momentum and everything, so you can go up and down, and it's it's really, really cool feature. So I'd highly recommend you guys play around with that Batmobile, because you'll have a lot of fun with it. I mean, just look at this. I'm really happy with the way that this Batman turned out. It's definitely a more simple design than what I'm used to making with this customizer, but I love this take on the character, and it was so cool to see how good he turned out. And you know, like I said at the beginning of the video, if the white eyes bother you too much, you could always just say that this is the Will Arnett version of the character, or you could also say that this is the Batman from LEGO Batman 2 DC Super Heroes, as of course that design was black with yellow belt and everything, so that's really, really cool. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it for this video. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.